Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Richards from Dallas, Texas. I'm a past president of the SRS, and I'm here to talk to you about bracing and scoliosis. Well, it varies. There are, very, there are different types of braces that we use for scoliosis. These braces are made by orthotists or brace makers. The braces that we have made are made either using a scanning device to determine the size of your trunk or they actually roll plaster around your trunk. And from this they make a copy of your body and then they formulate the hard plastic shell brace around that copy. And this type of brace will be necessary for you to use. There are several types of braces that we use. One is a full-time brace, and that's used about 20 hours per day. Another is a nighttime only brace. The full-time brace is worn in an effort to prevent the curve from progressing. It's used uh, throughout the day and night. A uh, patient is allowed to be out of that for four hours a day. It fits underneath the clothing, so it's really not visible if loose clothing is worn. This is the most common brace. It's called a thoracolumbosacral orthosis, or a TLSO. And in the United States, the most common brand known as this is the Boston brace. At times, for smaller curves, we use a nighttime-only brace. Two forms of this are the Charleston bending brace or the Providence brace. And these are worn for smaller curves that are more flexible, usually located in the lower part of the spine. And those are worn for 8 to 10 hours per night. Well, the goal here is that your curve has reached a size where if we leave it alone, it's going to progressively get larger to the point where you may need to have an operation. So if that's the case, we want to do everything we can to prevent that from being necessary. So the goal of a brace is to hold your curve from getting worse through your growing years until you're finished growing and then if we can control the size of your curve until you're finished growing, you may not need to have any treatment at all from that point forward. Well, it does matter how many hours a day you wear the brace. If you wear it under six hours a day, it won't work at all. It's the same as not doing anything. So the success of a brace is really dependent on how many hours a day you wear it. Some studies have shown that you need at least 13 hours a day for the effect of the brace to be shown. We recommend wearing the brace 20 hours a day uh, in an effort to provide you maximum um, opportunity to prevent the curve from getting worse. If you, if you do wear a brace, you have a 75% chance that you won't have a curve that gets worse to the point of needing an operation. If you don't wear a brace, you have about a 60% chance that you will need that operation. So there is value in wearing that brace. We really encourage you to do so. Um, wearing a brace is a challenge and we all recognize that but we want you to preserve your lifestyle as much as you can. So take that brace off to do your sports, your dance, to go swimming, your showers. You choose the hours of the day when you're out of the brace, but we do need you to be into that brace 18 to 20 hours a day. Well, you're gonna come visit your orthopedic spine surgeon about twice a year. And during that time, an x-ray is taken of your back. Usually we have you take the brace off 24 hours ahead of time so that the spine settles a little bit. But when we check this x-ray and compare it to the x-rays that we've had in the past, we're going to know if that brace is working by seeing that the curve remains a similar size. If the brace is not working, the curve is getting worse and worse and worse, we're going to be in a little bit of trouble. No, this is perfect. This is a success. The goal of a brace is to prevent the curve from getting worse. We want to avoid 
that curve getting larger and larger and needing an operation. So right now, if you're wearing a brace, your curve is in the size range that if you're mature and done growing and it stays the same, like was just mentioned, then that's a success and you won't need an operation. Well, a TLSO, this is not a Boston brace, but it's a similarity to it. It's a hard shell. It's custom fit to the patient's body. If it's worn under loose clothing, you can't even see it. So socially, it's a very reasonable brace to wear to help manage the scoliosis. You can see that it's hard plastic. And if you look inside of it, you can see that there are some firm pads that are positioned in a way that they push on the spine to reduce the curve while you're wearing the brace in an effort to prevent the curve from getting worse over time.